10 Best Picks presents the Top 10 Best Security Cameras. Starting at number 10. Camp Arc Trail Game Camera. For trail hunting lovers, having the right camera is crucial. It will help you to detect the game, study their behavior, and anticipate their next move. However, with the overwhelming choices in the market, it can be easy to make a mistake. When choosing the right trail cam, stick to a reputable brand. That way, you can rest assured that the build quality, durability, and features of the wildlife camera are of the highest quality. Aside from that, reputable manufacturers are known for offering the best customer service. This manufacturer also provides affordable cameras for customers on a budget. Let's take a look at the Campark manufacturer. This game cam company was established last 2008 and has provided a broad range of high-quality game cameras for years. The company dedicates themselves in giving the best of game cameras for hunters and travelers alike. Whether it's for home security, scouting game or simply as a garden wildlife camera. This is the smallest trail camera in the Campark range as the name suggests. At just under 4. 2 inches in height and 3. 7 inches in width this camera is very small. It's almost cargo pocket sized, it's that small. The size of the camera makes it the ideal for setup locations where being discreet is necessary. This could be on public land or as a security camera to an entrance of a property. If you're looking for extra pixels in still images to take a closer look at the detail of wildlife then some of the other trail cameras in this article have larger, more detailed still images. Design features The camera housing is of the clamshell design, which is typical for trail cameras these days. It's IP56 rated for dust and water ingress protection. At number 9. Ring Floodlight Camera. Ring built a better mousetrap and quickly became the king of video doorbells. Lots of competitors followed, but few have a truly better doorbell. Ring wasn't the first to integrate a video camera into an outdoor light Natatmo introduced one in late 2016, and Kuna had one earlier than that but if you own one of Ring's doorbells, you like it well enough to pay for a subscription, and you want to surveil more of your yard, you should add one of Ring's other outdoor products. The Ring floodlight cam will make an excellent replacement for any existing floodlight. If you haven't committed to the Ring ecosystem, you'll want to explore your options before buying this product. That subscription I mentioned is the biggest reason why. While Ring emphasizes that subscriptions are optional, you'll be restricted to real-time viewing of what the camera sees if you don't opt into one after your 30-day free trial. You'll receive alerts when the camera detects motion, but you won't be able to see the video that triggered the alert. All the other features will work, but you won't be able to download the video clips, either. If there's a break-in, you won't be able to provide the police with any forensic evidence the camera might have captured of the perpetrator. Ring offers two subscription plans, both of which include cloud storage and video review with sharing. The Ring Protect Basic plan costs $3 per month per camera. The Ring Protect Plus plan costs $10 per month. It covers an unlimited number of cameras and extends the warranty from one year to the life of the product and includes both damage and theft protection, so that if the camera breaks or someone has the temerity to steal it, Ring will replace it. Ring's FAC also mentions 24-7 professional monitoring, but that's for the upcoming Ring alarm. Number 8 of my list. WizCam Outdoor Starter. Yee's cloud storage plans vary depending on where you look. Why? We have no idea, but both the standard and premium plans listed on Yee's website are generally less expensive than those in the app, so we've included them here. The app includes a basic plan that's only $3. 99 a month and not offered on the website, so be sure to shop both the app and the website to find a plan that works for you. Yee's monthly cloud storage fees are about the same price as Nest's, but Nest offers continuous video recording with all of its plans. By comparison, WizCam Pan gives you free 14-day rolling cloud storage for all motion or sound detected events. The Yi 3 camera has an attractive modern design, but it's not as maneuverable as other home security cameras. It doesn't have a handy ball socket like Nest Cam, or a fully panning lens like Wiz you can only move the Yi up and down so mounting it on a wall might make it difficult to get a good viewing angle. Fortunately, the Yi Home Camera 3's wide-angle lens makes up for its lack of maneuverability. 
No matter the size or shape of the room I placed it in, it was easy to find a good angle that captured the majority of the room's area. If you opt out of cloud service, you can use the Yi Camera's Micro South Dakota card storage instead. We inserted an South Dakota card into the slot for our test period, and it gave us about three days of motion-triggered recordings, even in high-traffic areas. Unfortunately, the Yi 3 often had very poor connectivity. Whenever I opened the app, it took several seconds to a full minute to buffer. When you're anxious to see what triggered a notification, that amount of time feels like an eternity. If it did finally manage to connect, the video was choppy and occasionally pixelated. Sometimes the app would tell me the camera couldn't connect and ask me to check network settings. When I did, it always showed connectivity as excellent. Other times, the app didn't give me any notifications about connectivity, and I would assume it was connected. But when I'd walk through the room and still see a live video feed of an empty room, I'd realize it wasn't really a live feed at all. It's a cool trick for a bank heist movie, but not so great for my home security camera. Coming at number 7. WizCam Outdoor Starter. Running on two 2600 mAh integrated rechargeable batteries, Wiz's outdoor cam is completely wire-free and claims a battery life of 3 to 6 months for normal use. A base station is required to use the camera, but it's included in the Wiz Outdoor Cam Starter Bundle, so there are no additional products to buy. Up to four total cameras can be added to the base station, allowing you to outfit the exterior of your home with multiple cameras for less than the cost of one Arlo Pro 4, our number one pick for outdoor security cameras. Wiz's outdoor camera delivers 1080p video and night vision that are easy on the eyes, as well as two-way talk functionality that's clear and easy to understand. Setup is quick and simple. Simply download the Wiz app, create an account, log in, and the camera can be up and running within minutes after plugging the base station into your router. While it doesn't offer as many features as some of the others we've tested, the camera is a great value given the less than $50 price tag and free 14 days of rolling cloud storage. You also have the option to back up your event history locally by inserting a Microsoft card into the base station. The camera has a weather rating of IP65, meaning it's water resistant but not waterproof. I tested the camera outdoors in the sunny and humid central Florida fall, and it withstood the occasional rainstorm with no issues. Wiz's basic plan is free for all devices and includes alerts for motion, sound, and smoke, as well as recording events for up to 12 seconds at a time. However, there's a 5-minute cooldown period when using the basic plan. This means that after the camera detects an event, it will not record any subsequent triggers for 5 minutes. At number 6. Ring Stick Up Cam Battery. Did you all catch wind of Amazon's 2019 hardware keynote address? They announced an overwhelming amount of new products, including a new version of the Ring Stick Up Cam Battery. Now, previously, I've reviewed the Ring Stick Up Cam Wired, which is pretty similar in terms of features, minus the power source obviously. Of course, I've also reviewed the Ring Alarm security system and a ton of other Ring cameras, so I'm curious to see just how the Ring Stick Up Cam battery compares to its predecessors. It's definitely one of Ring's more affordable cameras, but that doesn't mean it's worth it. To answer that question, I'll have to dive in much deeper. Let's get started Ring tends to stick to the same general design for most of its cameras, and the Ring Stick Up Cam battery is no exception. Its camera is a black rectangle embedded in a white cylinder, connected to a mount that you can either place on a flat surface or attach to the wall. Now, the Ring Stick Up Cam battery is obviously battery operated, hence the name. But the good news is that you won't ever have to go to the store and buy a new battery, as it's rechargeable. The battery should last 6 to 12 months and should take 5 to 10 hours to recharge, depending of course on usage. Or, if you want to be as environmentally friendly as possible, you can use solar power with your Ring Stick Up Cam battery. This is especially useful if you're using the camera outside, as it is an indoor-outdoor camera that works in temperatures from negative 5 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. With an IP rating of X5, it can handle low-power water jets, making the camera weather resistant. The Ring Stick Up Cam battery is white, although a black version is coming soon according to Amazon. 
It has LED sensors for infrared night vision, a speaker and microphone for two-way audio, and being completely wireless, installation should be pretty simple. Design aside, I want to review the camera itself and make sure it's up to my very high standards. Of course, Ring gives you a bunch of technical specifications when you initially buy the Ring Stick Up Cam battery, but I want to see for myself how it works. Let's take a closer look. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. WizCam Pan 1080p Pan. If you haven't heard of Wiz, you will soon. It was founded by former Amazon employees who were disappointed with the home security cameras on the market at the time. While the more technologically advanced cameras were pretty pricey, the more affordable cameras lacked quality. Wiz sets out to have the best of both worlds, affordability, and incredible technology. Their Wiz Pan camera is the newest iteration of the indoor camera, and I must say that I'm intrigued. I can see on the website how the camera rotates 360 around, and I'm dying to know what's inside. In this WizCam Pan review, we'll cover the camera's promised features, what I thought of it, and whether it matches up with our necessary features test. Let's jump and I'm really impressed by the WizCam Pan's design. A white rectangular prism with a shiny black circular camera, it is super sleek and minimalist, a look I prefer. Plus, it can pan 360 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees vertically, hence the name. This allows you to see basically an entire room, which is awesome. Of course, the camera has a microphone and speaker enabling two-way audio, plus a slot for a micro South Dakota card. The camera plugs in, which means you won't have to worry about replacing a battery anytime soon. All in all, I'm really satisfied with how the Wiz Cam Pan looks, but let's see what it can actually do. I'm impressed that the Wiz Pan has 1080p HD, the ability to zoom in 8 times, and a field of view of 120 degrees. Of course, you have to keep in mind that the camera can turn all the way around, so it's more like a 360 degree field of view when you really think about it. Coming in at number 4 of my list. Blink Mini Compact. It's it's tough not to love a good, super affordable home security camera. The Blink Mini is one of those, like the popular Wiz Cam and entry-level Ring Indoor Cam. It's a $35 tiny plug-in camera that's capable enough to meet most people's needs when it comes to keeping an eye on their home. The Blink Mini Records video in 1080p resolution allows for two-way audio chat from the smartphone app to the camera, and it can alert your phone when it detects activity in one of your configured activity zones. The Mini has a 110-degree field of view that's wide enough to see most of your room, and it can see in the dark, too. If you own other Blink cameras, like the recent X-T2, you'll be able to access the Mini's clips and all of your other footage within the same app. If you don't want cloud storage, Blink's upcoming Sync Module 2 will let you plug in removable storage to move your Blink Mini clips to a flash drive. It will also let you connect up to 10 Blink cameras on your network. It will cost $35 as much as the camera when it arrives in the coming months, and the good news. It's a one-time purchase that lets you get around paying for cloud storage. Now, the less good news. It tops out at supporting 64 GB of storage, so you'll probably need to have a second flash drive on hand if you like to save a vast amount of footage. All told, that pushes a single camera Blink Mini setup to nearly $80. I definitely prefer WizCam's simpler, more affordable Micrist card solution. The Blink Mini comes out of the box mounted on a ball and socket joint stand, and it includes a set of screws to let you hang it on your wall. I found that it works well enough propped up on that mount, especially since it lets you articulate the camera to just the right perspective. You can remove it if you need it to have a smaller footprint. This device is tiny enough to put just about anywhere, though it doesn't grant you as much freedom as the company's wireless cameras. As I mentioned before, this is a wired camera, so where you're able to put it depends where you have a power outlet or a USB port driving enough power to the camera. My PC's USB 3. Zero port was evidently powerful enough, but if all you have are outlets, the camera includes a power adapter and a micro USB cable that's about 7 feet long. At number 3. All new Blink Outdoor. When we reviewed the original Blink home security camera system back in 2016, 
we gave it high marks for its reasonable price, sharp 720p video quality, and free cloud storage, but dinged it for its lack of integrations and inability to provide on-demand video and two-way audio. The company is now owned by Amazon, and its new Blink Outdoor is a weatherproof camera that is once again reasonably priced, but this time around offers 1080p video and works with Alexa voice commands and IFTTT applets. Cloud storage requires a subscription, but you can store video locally, view video on demand, and use two-way audio to talk to visitors. It's a solid deal, but our editor's choice, the WizCam Outdoor, is half the price and offers more features. The Blink Outdoor system comes with a small 2. 7x2. 7x1. 2-inch camera and an even smaller 0. 7x2. 3x2. 5-inch sync module that connects to your home Wi-Fi network. The camera is black, has an IP65 weather resistance rating, and is powered by two AA batteries that are rated to last up to two years before needing to be replaced. To replace the batteries, just loosen the screw on the back of the camera and pop off the cover. The camera offers video motion detection and captures 1080p footage at 30fps. It has a 110 degree field of view and uses an infrared LED for black and white night video, and it contains a speaker and microphone for two-way audio and a temperature sensor. A pair of status LEDs on the front of the enclosure let you know when the camera is active and when night vision is enabled. The Blink Outdoor is a battery-powered weatherproof 1080p security camera that offers motion detection, cloud and local storage, Alexa voice control, and support for third-party smart devices. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Coming at number 2, WizCam 1080p HD. Most startups say they're disrupting an industry, but Wiz actually is. With their incredibly affordable cameras costing as little as $20, we got the same great features as other smart security cameras we've reviewed, but at a fraction of the price. In this review, we're testing out the WizCam, their original camera, along with the WizCam Pan, its sister. Which one is right for you? Read on to find out, or watch our video reviews below. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, so how many words is a video worth? Well, whatever that number is, double it because we've made two videos of the WizCam and the WizCam Pan, so you can see their day and night vision for yourself. The WizCam Pan is basically the WizCam pushed up to the next level, and fortunately for us, it only costs about $10 more. We loved seeing our entire living room by panning this camera around 360 degrees. See it for yourself. As you can see from the above chart, the WizCam and the WizCam Pan are extremely similar, although the Pan costs $10 more. Sure, that's 150% more than the WizCam, but when you're starting at only $20, that didn't make much of a difference according to our bank account. Although the WizCam and the WizCam Pan are twins, they're more fraternal than identical. Here are the reasons why. Part of why the Wiz cameras cost so little is the fact that we had to install them ourselves. But don't worry, you don't have to test out security cameras for a living to set up either camera. We did so in a few simple steps. And number one, ring video doorbell. One thing we have to give ring, ordering and installation are super easy overall. You order the doorbell camera online and it arrives in a compact box with the cam and almost everything you need to install it. You, you will need to drill four holes for anchors. If you have a concrete or brick wall, you'll need to use the provided anchors. Ring has set up guides and installation videos for all of its products, including all its video doorbells. The videos are easy to follow and make it clear what goes where. And yes, the Ring works as a regular doorbell, even without its camera function. There are a few types of chimes the Ring can't work with, in which case you can use Ring's external chime that lets you receive a notification anywhere in your house. Ring also offers the Ring Chime Pro, which combines a chime with a Wi-Fi extender. The Ring Video Doorbell and Ring Video Doorbell 3 can both work from battery packs, you don't have to hardwire them. That said, we don't recommend the battery packs, because they're a pain to track and recharge. If you can hardwire your video doorbell then do it. If you do decide to use the battery then just remember you have to disable your ring every time it needs a charge. The battery is also a pain in the butt to get out of the camera. 
ring uses special screws that require a specific screwdriver head to open the battery case. It comes in the package with the camera, but even so, you have to track down that one specific screwdriver every time you need to take down the cam. We get that the screws are an anti-theft feature, but they make dealing with a rechargeable battery a hassle. Hardwiring is more reliable and all-around easier. Do it if you can. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.